Hey, this is Peter from Nexton Web. If you use WordPress, you're probably familiar with posts. These were made to contain new entries every now and then, for example, to have a blogger news feed. With Smart Slider 3, you are able to create slides made from the parts of your posts. You can create designs to make the sliders go well with your theme, like in my case, Flash by Theme Grill. First, you should create a new slider or use an existing one. I will create a new one with some basic settings. From the Create Slides drop-down list, choose to create dynamic slides. Pick the post by filter generator. Here you will find filtering options, like what categories or tags your post should have. By default the ordering shows the latest post first. The slides defines how many slides you want to have, and the cache expiration is how often our code searches for new posts. In the record viewer, you can check the variables you will be able to put on your slides. In the slide editor, you will see the first slide with the default layout. I will make the background darker by adding a black background color and making the image a little bit transparent. This way, I can be sure that my white text will stay legible over any image. For dynamic slides, the content mode is much better, so I will use that to position my layers. The next layer will be a button. If you hover over input areas like the text of this button, you will see a variable sign appearing. You should click on that sign to select one of the post generator's variables. Here you can select the variable, like the title or description of your post. Use filtering options to remove the HTML codes or limit the length of the text. And check the result. I want to display the category's name on this button. The input area will show the variable's name, while your slide will show the actual value. I will need a text layer. You can display more variables in the same input area. All you need is their names, so I will just insert the date variable here. Copy it. Insert the author variable. And paste the date variable and any text next to it. As you see, the variables are simply replaced by their texts, so you have a lot of freedom in customizing them. My last layer will be another button. This should link to my post, so I will just go to the links variables and select the URL variable. That's it. My layout is done. In the preview, I will check out my slides. They look the way I wanted them to. Now you will check their responsive views too. Everything seems alright, so I can save on my slides and publish the slider. It's quite easy to insert your slider anywhere, especially with this theme and its suggested page builder made by Site Origin. Search for our widget and select the slider from its settings. And you can publish your page. Then check it out. I will show you a couple of other useful examples. You can select variables for your images too. We have an image variable, which is usually what people look for. You don't have to use only our image variables, but you can also search for images in other variables.
For example, in my description variable, I will search for the first image. Let's talk about text now. Descriptions can be very long. Because of this, when you pick them, use the split by cars, setting to cut off the words after the given character number. Put dot 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 after the sentence, so it wouldn't seem half finished. The design needs a little adjustment. And this slider is ready to be published too. Not all your layers have to contain variables. You can put down an image as a separator between your texts. In the Pro version of our slider, there are 47 dynamic slide generators, from which 21 is available on WordPress. You can show, for example, your WooCommerce products, the events, calendar events, next-gen gallery images, or Facebook page posts. All in all, dynamic slides are perfect to connect parts of your website or social media to your slider. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and if you would like to see more videos from us in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye!